Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. And of course, highlight the rest of my face since I have not done that already. And now I need to go wet my beauty blender. Lovely. So a fully loaded battery, let's get into the video. Um, I wanted to film using this palette. This is the Ace Butte palette. Uh, this is what the colors look like. Focus. And I haven't touched this yet. So I want to film with this palette. So I'm going to keep it a little bit on the simpler side. I mean, in colors wise, I don't know yet what I'm doing. But color wise, I'm going to keep it a little simple because I want to film some other videos and I don't want to film using bright blue eyes or anything like that. So let's get into the video. I think I'll just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer, my Tarte Shape Tape Primer as my primer today because I'm not using the James Charles palette. I've not been addicted to that. That's just because I want it to be a little bit on the pigmented side. Like that. I'm just blending this in. I already did my foundation brows off camera. You guys know just to save a bit of time. And I used my NARS foundation today. I feel like I need I didn't put concealer on yet because just in case if anything falls out below so I'm gonna go in with the Ace Butte palette uh, what color are we going in with first first I'm gonna go in with the shade cinnamon which is this shade right here it's like a chocolate brown color I'm just loading my brush I'm just loading my brush up and I'm gonna go ahead and tap this right here oh that's pigmented I'm just gonna tap that in there it doesn't matter if you get it on the lid it's okay and as you can see I am getting some fallout so good thing I didn't um, go in with my concealer yet just gonna tap that right there go into the next side Okay, first off the bat I can say the shadow is this the shadows are very very pigmented. Come on, I'm gonna go have a smaller blending brush. This one is clean and I'm just gonna start working on the edges here just to blend it out. And I do think this method works really good so if you're a beginner for doing eyeshadows, I would definitely suggest to pack and blend. That's like, I feel like that's the, this is a really good shadow. As you can see, that's just easily blending out. I find this is the best way to, to do your shadows. You can just like pack the shape that you want your shadow to be rested down at and then just go in and blend the edges out and as you're blending if it's blending away you can always go back in keep reapplying and blending so far i'll say i really love this palette it's shadows are definitely blending out really good very easy to blend out and very very pigmented so so far i can say i really like the palette Go in more with that shadow and just pack it a little higher on this side. Then I'm going to go in with the blending brush. Just blend. Look how easy and effortlessly this is blending out. Now I want to go in with the same brush, so I just cleaned it out on my color switch. And we're going to go ahead and use the shade Clove in the palette. So this shade, this first shade was Cinnamon, 
and now we're going in with clove which is kind of like a peachish color let's see how this shade applies packing this on going in with my small blending brush and diffusing the edges and blending that into the brown I mean, this is a lighter shade so it's not gonna look as deep or pigmented as the brown did. but it's a nice shade it's a peachish peachy shade going to the next side do the same thing again we're just tapping the shade first onto the lid and a little bit above the crease we're going to go in with our blending brush and just blend the edges out and blend the end here out into the brown so it looks like one color I'm going to go in with a little bit of the clove shade and just blend above here a little bit again same thing going back with a little bit of cinnamon pack that right there just pack it right there and then just go ahead and blend the edges very lightly of course patchouli 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 so it's like almost like a um a bone color this color right here it's matte and i'm going to put this right under my brow bone like right there right up there and you can go around the edges of this shadow with that same bone color to clean it up a little bit whether you go too high or whatever the case is you can use that um you can use that same bone color to clean it up going in back with my small blending brush not adding anything to the brush and just lightly brushing blending the edges out from the bone color this way it doesn't look like you know and if you want you can obviously go back in with a little bit more go back in a little bit more of the shade clove which is that peachish color just reapply it a little bit more just to intensify it tap 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 then blend 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 simple very simple I mean, I'm only using two, literally two shadows, two colors for this look today. Maybe I'll go in with a, maybe I'll go in with a, a glitter shade. I don't know yet. Let me finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm going to go in with this pencil. This is from Jante Blue. It says it's a glitter. I don't know. <clears throat> but this is what it looks like it's black so I'm, what I'm going to do is run this on my lash line just randomly run that there um, I don't normally put on wing liner if you can't tell already so let me go ahead put the lashes on and I'll be right back Okay, so lashes are on. Oh my god, they are are these too dramatic? <laughs> I feel like they are. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer under the eyes using the same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. And of course, highlight the rest of my face since I have not done that already. And now I need to go wet my beauty blender. Lovely. Go ahead and blend this out. Go 
go all the way out. All the I all everything that I use in today's video will be under my IG picture um, of today's look. So remember to go over there so you can see the deets of today's tutorial. I'm just setting my concealer, then I'm just gonna brush it off ahead and do the lower lash line I'm going first with the shade cinnamon and again press that on the lower lash line and remember to take it out and connect it with the top lash line as well I'm taking it all the way in I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it today. Okay. My eyes are tearing up. Lovely, man. I'm going to go with a different brush. These are two different brush, but very, very similar. I'm going with this shade Clove, which is that peaches shade. And use that shade to blend the edges of this shade out. And that's pretty much how I want the eyes to look. Um, going on, gonna go in with a little bit of this bone color. Just very lightly go under here. We're gonna be brightening up the lower under the eyes as well as blending the edges out if we went a little too far down. So like so. Ooh, I really like. Let me zoom out. I really like how the eyes are looking. Mhm, mm for sure. Let's go in with some bronzer. In with some highlighter. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Clove as my blush today because I kind of want it to match my eyes. So this is the shade Clove. I'll take that as blush today. I'm going to use the same brush. That's a little smaller. And we're just going to tap it right there. I'm not a blush person, so I'm not going to make it look intense or anything what the inside of the palette looks like after me using it um, I did went in with this shade no sorry I did went in with this shade this shade and this shade so these two shades and this brown it's the shades I use on today's look before we do the lips let's go ahead and put some mascara on the lower lash line I'm gonna go ahead and line the lips. Let's so zoom you guys in. I'm gonna line the lips using what is this? Uh, this NYX lip liner in the shade Toast. Yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna tell you guys what lipstick is this because I really like how to look and it's definitely very affordable. This is the Physicians Formula Healthy Lip and this one is in the shade All Natural Nude. So really love this freaking shade. It looks good. It kind of goes with the eyes. Pretty much we're having we're going with a monochromatic look here. Yeah, let me go fix my hair and I'll be right back. So I just I just spray the face with my setting spray, which I wasn't regarding. And try not to open your mouth while spraying your face. So this is the finished look. Um, very monochromatic, nudey type of look. Using the Ace Butte palette. Um, the first time I'm touching the palette and since I did my makeup collection video with the palettes 
drawer. Um, I realized I never used the palette so I wanted to use it and I did today and I love it. I definitely would recommend it to you guys. The shadows are very very pigmented. Um, there is a bit of fallout when you tap into the shadow in the pan but it's fine if it doesn't bother you. It's fine, it doesn't bother me, but they blend out so freaking beautiful. So that's all you need in shadows is pigmentation and blendability and you're good to go. And as you can see, ah, so beautiful. Let me zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look at the eyes. So this is what the eyes are looking like. I freaking love this. And again, I literally use two shadows for the look and I use that bone br that bone color for the brow bone and that was it i didn't use anything else just two shadows this looks fucking gorgeous so that's it that's the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i apologize for not uploading uh this past wednesday and saturday uh have a lot of things going on so hopefully i'll i can keep to schedule as much as possible I'm trying to pre-film as much as I possibly can. I will get these videos up and running at my usual time, which will be Saturdays and Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're watching from Kuwait, that will be 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys love today's look. It was very simple, a very natural, monochromatic look using pretty affordable makeup um, again the deets on today's look will be under the picture that I will be posting on Instagram so if you want to know what I used go on over there and check that picture out and double tap on that picture as well and show your love and support and I will catch you guys in a later video bye guys